Alright guys, Tactical Bit here back again today, hope you're enjoying your Thursday so far. Today I wanted to talk about what Crim6 and Co talked about yesterday on Twitter about the dedicated servers right now that the pros are going to be playing on this weekend in the Chicago Home Series, the online Home Series, and have played on, of course, in the previous weekends as well. Very interesting topic for discussion because Dallas Empire, a lot of people were talking about when the online league was first announced. They should be one of the teams storming right to the top in terms of how good they're going to be playing against other teams, especially especially given their online uh, reputation, I suppose, going into the season. Didn't happen last weekend. They did, or a couple of weekends ago now, they didn't have the greatest KDs on the whole. And Clayster and Co have been talking about for a long time, when they're playing their matches against, say, the Los Angeles Gorillas and Co over in LA, they're playing on a really, really bad host for them. And the server locations supposedly are based on Amazon Web Services hosted servers. And those are just the locations that Activision are using for the, um, well, for the online league. However, there definitely would be other locations locations available that they're not going in for and that is unfairly disadvantaging a significant portion of teams according to Crim6 and Co on Twitter yesterday. Let's get into the topic then so like if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you are new as always I would greatly appreciate it. First of all wanted to mention this Mork says Celium is on the main AR. Let's just show you this clip real quick. Cell is a main AR though now. That's kind of crazy. Tell is such a good AR, but he's also a really good sub, like he's just a good player. Now that could be relevant if you guys are thinking about joining Tactical Rab's Draft Royale for this weekend. As far as I'm, when I'm recording, there's about 100 places left. 400 joined off yesterday's video, 100 more to go. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to get involved, typical kind of fantasy thing. Choose five players for the salary you're allotted. If you win, like, uh, good on you, right? It's, it's always a good a bit of good fun to do on these weekends. So yeah, join via the mobile app if you guys are interested. If you just missed out on the first 500, we'll be doing it a couple of weekends time. And there's also many more options for you guys to join in the Draft Royale section of the app as well. So let's move onwards here. Just wanted to mention this also. Tommy yesterday was teaming with Bobby Poff here in this Keemstar Warzone Wednesday. They won 20 grand between them, so fair play to them. Cool to see that Tommy, even though he's been the, well, he's the sub, but also kind of the coach at times, especially at London, he was almost playing a coaching role for this Dallas Empire team. But still, regardless of that, it's been popping off on a stream. Really, really great to see for Tommy. But let's talk about this main topic then. So Clayster tweeted about a day ago now. First world problem I know, but man, it is getting increasingly frustrated getting on to practice every day and having the host be a thousand plus miles away from us in Dallas and in the backyard of the other team. Online COD is getting to me sad face. Then Damon says from Seattle, of course. I don't know where he's exactly based, but um, you know, on the Seattle team, at least you don't have two people ping in 100 plus. So Obviously, these guys not particularly happy with it. And then Crim6 comes out with these set of tweets, which really was um, a pretty big indictment, to be frank, of the CDL. Went through the proper channels, and still nothing is getting changed for CDL Chicago. So now I'm tweeting about it. Now, all, all of a sudden, like, <laughs> like straight away, that's an interesting thing to say, because we've heard a lot of people talking about over the past season, like, um, you know, why are these pros tweeting about this stuff? Like, there's proper channels behind the scenes. It's always been talked about how when there's issues with the game, they should go through the proper channels and we've had discussions from Aches and Jacob and Co saying that do these channels really exist? I'm not sure they do. We talk to some people in Activision but they never really get through to the developers. In this case though, this isn't like a developer Infinity Ward thing. This is Activision who are putting on this thing and I imagine those they're the ones paying the big bucks to rent these dedicated servers from Amazon Web Services as far as I understand or maybe some other similar provider. But Regardless, the fact that Krim says he's gone through the channels to try and get this sorted and no one's done anything, now he's going to bring the community's attention to this issue because, um, you know, that's the way to get things sorted, I suppose. So... You know, can you blame him? Maybe you can, but uh, you know, like, we'll, we'll go through the rest of the tweet. CDL Dallas was played on neutral servers in, in neutral servers in San Francisco and Texas. Now, what he's saying is, of course, so Dallas is down here on the map. The Texas server, I believe, he is saying is where this cross is right here, um, which of course means that they can't play on that because they would have a ridiculously unfair advantage to every other team, I suppose, if they were playing on this Texas server and everyone else is, uh, you know, elsewhere in the country. They're obviously, if they're here and the server 
servers there, they're going to have a massive advantage over other teams. So I suppose they can't play on that because it's not neutral. Chicago, Ohio, and Virginia. So these are where the black dots he puts here on the map. Now, the interesting part of it, of course, and that's what Clayster is talking about, and he was talking about at the, uh, the Dallas home series a couple of weeks ago now when they played Los Angeles Gorillas in their first map. They were playing against LA, of course, way over here on a San Francisco host, even further west than the LAG were. So, you know, he was not particularly happy with them playing on that host. You would imagine that a host over here somewhere might be more neutral, but it's difficult to say, right? Like these locations are not ideal by any means. And as we're looking in a few minutes here, there is opportunities to have servers hosted in multiple cities. You could theoretically come up with neutral hosts rather than just having to stick to these kind of AWS standard uh, locations, to my understanding. So that really is, is the complaint here. And as Crim6 goes on to say, the servers are not playable. Every lag spike you saw on stream last weekend was not a, con a connection-based problem with the stream. It was actual game lagging on the host. Us and Huntsman get punished for being in the same location by these so-called neutrals. So I suppose what he's saying is Dallas and the, um, well, the Chicago Huntsman, they're both based pretty much in Texas. So it, it creates a big issue for them, right? Because they can't play on the Texas host. So they have to play on one of these hosts, which, you know, is just not great for them given how far away it is. There's no intermediary host somewhere that maybe would be better of course, look, there's always going to be teams that are advantaged by this and disadvantaged by this with the ping situation. You know, you can't really avoid that. But you could imagine that Activision could have done a better job in putting the, the you know, the neutral servers, the neutral servers in a place that would be better for different teams, especially given how much money is on the line and the importance of competitive integrity in a LAN environment. You would expect maybe them to have done more to try and uphold those standards when we move on to the online league. So that's definitely something you could say. If I get fined for this, then so be it, but I will not have my online, this is kind of tongue in cheek this last bit, but I will not have my online reputation tarnished, dropped a worse KD online than at CDLLA, that's how you know something ain't right here. So he's kind of saying tongue in cheek that of course, you know, people call Crim6 and the Dallas Empire an onliner, but Crim6 is the wittiest player in COD history of course, so kind of hard to make that argument but as he says like uh you know my kd is even worse online than it is on LAN. that's how you know something is wrong so there's a lot of interesting replies to this one i am firstly intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below because could activision have done a better job here is crim6 right to complain because look if you're going to be playing obviously against the lag it was an interesting one um you know they ended up getting a forfeit win and that domination i think or some i think it was a domination and some petro something interesting happened they end up winning the series three to one but really really close and then against other teams it didn't go so well right and in an online environment the ping is such a huge factor in such a fast-paced game where every you know every millisecond counts that it maybe it's inexcusable as crim6 is saying that these are the only options for dedicated servers right you could make the argument as easy max is a server in denver nashville st louis fixes most of these issues um if they're using google cloud so i'm not sure if it's aws or google cloud like pub servers then they have some other options available for the central US. And this is some of the pro replies. So Den says, if it makes you feel better, we had five people in LA playing on Ohio host in a qualification match, which was right after we played on a host that rubber banded, lagged and interrupted any movement. Not saying we would have won otherwise, but was handicapped from the get go. So, you know, the Paris Legion are all based in Los Angeles. And what they're saying as well is not only are these hosts a long way away from where we would like to play, but they're also not good hosts and the servers seem to be lagging and dropping. And we saw that as a distinct example in the first Seattle Surge series of last weekend. Forget exactly who they were playing against, but it went all the way to the game five. If you guys remember the game four as a cave, there were so many clips from Karma that this server was just atrocious and barely playable on at all, right? And I haven't had any issues playing on the, uh, the game battles dedicated servers in the game battles beta ladder. But at the end of the day, like maybe they're not the same servers that these guys are using for the professional stuff and clearly you would expect the professional servers, the deadies, to be even better, right? But it doesn't really seem to be the case. Slasher says the motto for this year, get with the program. Um, so yeah, kind of kind of tying in cheek replies from a few guys here and his crim replies again. So, you know, I don't know what this simp hype guy is talking about, but kind of funny reply to this one. Um, I guess he was just trying to get Crim6 riled up or whatever. Um, what's wrong with this guy? So yeah, this is also a funny, um, <laughs> funny back and forth there. 
Wiskin says, get your gunny up, skid. I swear if one more member of the, sh- <laughs> the London Bold Chins tweets me, I'm going to lose it. Get some WD-40 on those fingers. Scrim. If you guys don't know what WD-40 is, it's kind of like a lubricant that you put on some like old thing to make sure it doesn't squeak and to make it move easier, or like a wheel or something on a bike that maybe is rusted up a little bit. That's where you use WD-40 for. I've literally owned your whole continent in tournaments for the past 10 years. So kind of a funny little back and forth there. But just to finish with then really, BZ said on the Reddit, there's no perfect solution. It sucks, but they can't just magically have a server in between every team. Now that is understandable, but you could argue maybe they, they could have done a better job. These are standard deadly locations. So as Zed Spoon says here, I'll just uh, Zed Poon, I guess, except there is close to a perfect solution if they provided dedicated binaries. And I'm not going to pretend I understand all the technicalities of this. So if you guys are better informed, let me know in the comment section below. You could host a game anywhere you want. There are companies that provide compute locations in pretty much every single major US city nowadays and a lot of smaller cities as well. The only reason you would have to li- limit yourself to AWS regions, and this guy said in another comment that he posted earlier, the AWS Amazon Web Services um, overlay of where the deadies are and it was basically the same picture that uh, Crim6 just provided so if you need the massive scalability redundancy that they can provide but to host a few CDL matches a week that don't your options are almost limitless but COD is still in the dark ages no dedicated binaries you are a slave to the system so yeah intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below could the CDL done a better job here let's not forget at the start of the season when eggs brought to light the fact that Chicago and Atlanta weren't in the same group at all the entire season and um, Aix was saying oh maybe this is aspect of collusion trying to get the uh, most popular teams to get further in the tournament to get better viewership it was quite quick that the CDL came out and said look that was a mistake on our part and fixed it so whether they do a similar thing here who knows do they uh, I mean they've got the money if they wanted to right Um, but you know who knows just wanted to bring this up before we finish the video for today. A couple of people pointing out to me this tweet from uh, Enable here on Twitter. Back on top soon. Of course, um, Enable and some other pros right now sitting on the bench. Obviously, they want to be in the position very shortly to get back on a professional team. Who knows if they're going to be able to manage it this season given the online stuff. Do you need to bring an Enable back into a squad? Is that really going to help your team massively with the online situation? Enable's more of a very accomplished LAN player, but am I expecting him to do that much online? Maybe not, especially when there's so many other talented players that don't have the LAN experience and maybe would fall off on LAN like a guy like Enable wouldn't do, but in an online environment, they might be a deadlier slaying force. You could make that argument. But some people are pointing this out thinking, oh, yo, does this mean that Enable's got something lined up? He did talk about ages ago on, um, on the podcast that he did have some offers on the table but clearly nothing uh, locked in quite yet but you know having seen that Pristini then tweeted this out I just want to play COD competitively again same King says Trey that makes three of us and as Cronut CDL Intel here spare some roster moves please so I wonder what will happen here going forwards of course um, Seattle seem to be sticking with Panda for now but if this weekend doesn't go very well what can you expect from them going forwards and of course Zero on the New York subliners bench. Very talented, very accomplished player, but right now sitting out for Mac on that starting lineup, and that seems to be going pretty well for them, but who knows how things will go this weekend. It only takes two series for you to lose, and you're out of the tournament. They could both be in Game 5 fashion if you get pretty unlucky, or you just don't happen to clutch up. So yeah, intrigued to hear your thoughts down below. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new as always. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Enjoy the weekend uh, coming up tomorrow. I'll see you next time.